so exhausted. I mean, it's up here now, so I have to figure out something. very high hair day whatever I'll lean into it um hey guys welcome back it is sunday the video for this week just went live which means we get to start a new project because that's how things roll now we finish one thing we automatically jump into another so we're gonna go back into the bedroom and we're gonna do a project that i have been considering for a while like most of my projects we're gonna do faux wood beams and I'm really excited about this. I've read up a lot on how to do it, different ways to do it. I'm kind of doing my own unique spin on it because I also want to incorporate some hanging lights onto one of the beams on both sides of the bed instead of having uh, side lamps. That's a whole nother thing. We're going to figure it out as we go. But right now, I need to walk Scout and then we can run to the hardware store. I got to make the bed. Can you get down? Now comes the fun part. Let's try to figure this out. so slow and I am so afraid I'm about to get rained on. I need to get a move on. Hey guys. So it's the next day and I am just having one of those days where you know you just wake up and your body both physically, mentally, everything. I'm just Tired. I am so exhausted, but I don't want it to be a complete waste of a day. I really want to get this project off the ground. So I figure since this is a project where I need to be on a ladder and I'm going to be working with power tools, both things which are not super conducive to being really exhausted, what I can at least do is get up on the ladder and tape out specifically where I want uh, the beam placement. I need to find where the studs in the ceiling are, and I'm really hoping that they're running this way, because um, I want my beams to go perpendicular the other way. If they're running the same direction, I'm gonna have to figure out, we'll cross that bridge when we come to, if we come to that. All right, so after quite a bit of trial and tribulation, I have no idea which way these studs are running, but I do know that I'm finding a lot of them, so that is good news still because um, at least there's something to screw in. 
up there so that these beams are secure. So I think what I'm gonna do now is at least get the full measurements of the ceiling and um, start moving around the uh, placement of the beams to see what I like. I know one specifically, uh, the placement is um, pretty exact because those are that's gonna be the one that has the lights, so they have to be kind of in a specific spot. So they're hanging right over the nightstands. The other two, I want them to be equal distance apart. Obviously, incredibly scared of heights. I've gotten really good on the ladder because I have to water the plants up in the skylight a lot. So um, the ladder doesn't scare me as much as it used to, but when I'm right next to the window looking straight down. <laughs> that done today. I really like the placement of them. I'm really glad that it's at this beam is actually just off from the light fixture so that way I don't have to worry about dropping the light fixture through the beam. I got lucky and the beam is about four inches off from the hole for the light fixture so that's gonna make my life a lot easier and I actually really like the placement of these. They're about 55 inches, about four and a half, four and a half feet. Uh, apart. Uh, so I think we did good. That's gonna make life a lot easier tomorrow once I start actually building these beams once I need to, uh, once I actually get the measurements and stuff. So tomorrow when I have more energy I can start building these. guys. I made it about halfway through the beams before I ran out of wood filler so I need to go to the store today and pick up some more wood filler so that I can finish that portion of the project and start sanding these down and then hopefully 
start staining them. I would love to get a first coat of stain on today so that I could do another one tomorrow. Hopefully two's enough and then I can get them up there. I'm really excited. This project's coming along a lot better than I expected and it's actually not that difficult. Um, so I'm gonna run to the store really quickly and pick up more wood filler and then we can keep going. And at this point, I would recommend you not be stubborn like me and get somebody to help you hang these because this was next to impossible on my own. That part one of this DIY is done. Next week, we'll be wiring that final beam for the bedside lamps and adding some crown molding to finish this project. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next week.